G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today what we have here on the bench is a new foldable mini GPS drone. This is called the LSRC-S6S. As you can see it comes in a nice little carry case. The case actually came in this plastic bag here as you can see, mini S6S, age 14 plus and it had a little bit of a seal on the top and uh, this is also uh, bubble wrap so it came you know rather protected in the uh, in the mail you know even though it wasn't in a box so uh, let's have a quick look this is a little like I said a mini GPS drone uh, you can currently get this on Banggood and it's only uh, 72 US dollars for the one battery version I've got the two battery version here which is an extra ten dollars at eighty two dollars so it's a rather cheap and uh affordable uh little drone here at a budget price and as you can see it's rather small as well guys all right so uh, i think the weight of this one is only 150 grams yeah it's well under the weight by 100 grams so you don't have to register this uh with the faa in the united states or in any other countries that have restrictions, uh, we have to register drones over 250 grams. So very lightweight, little foldable drone. I will put it on the scale in a second. As you can see, it does fold out and uh, basically fits in the palm of your hand. Now you can pick this drone up in two colors, this bright orange, which I actually do prefer, or a really light gray, uh, very similar to the Mavic Mini from DJI. Like I said, I prefer these bright orange ones. They're very easy to see at fairly long distances line of sight. Whereas, you know, if you're flying a white or light gray drone, especially uh, if there's a lot of cloud cover, you do tend to lose sight of them, okay? Now this uh, does have a tiltable camera electronically. It will tilt all the way down to 90 degrees. Now I believe they do state on all these drones that they come with 4K cameras, guys. And, um, you know, at this price, you've got to take that with a grain of salt because all it is is um, interpolated 4K photos. Now, by that, the photos are not actually in real 4K. All they've done via the app, because this does not have an SD card, it's Wi-Fi based only with 5G Wi-Fi, FPV. Um, when you record all your videos or photos to your phone, uh, especially the photos, all they are are actually expanded to a 4K size window, okay, or frame. Um, but the resolution of the photos are not true 4K. Specs on this camera is 720p at uh, 25 frames per second, I believe. They do claim this one to has electronic image stabilization, okay, on the listing. So... That'll be interesting to see if it does have any stabilization because this is a static or well, fairly like a static camera. All it can do is go up and down. Um, there's no gimbal on this one. As you can see, it just tilts up and down via the transmitter. So what I'll do now, is I'll just compare it uh, to the size of the DJI Mavic Mini really quickly and we'll see if the weight is indeed what they say at 150 grams. So I'll just put it on the scales, guys. Okay guys, I've got the drone here, okay, and we're all teared out on the scale. So let's place it on the scale. And it weighs 148, nearly 149 grams there. So they are correct on the listing. They said 150 and it's actually a bit lighter than that. So that's really good to see. I have my Mavic Mini here and as you can see it's 250 grams. It's a little bit over because I've got the gimbal guard on there of course, but uh, yeah, it's exactly around 102 grams lighter than the Mavic Mini. Okay, so here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison with the Mavic Mini, as you can see. Now, even though this one is much smaller, as you can see there, the motors and the props seem to be pretty much identical, or fairly close, a little bit smaller. Uh, the actual motors on the LSRC are actually 1503 motors, 2200 kV, and uh, it does have 12 amp ESCs on each arm. So it's got 12 amp uh, independent ESCs. Okay, I just put my Mavic Mini away. Just want to show you a quick comparison. 
So uh, what else can I say about this one? This does have an optical flow camera on the bottom here. Okay. Uh, the on and off switch is just there. You hold it down. There's some bright LEDs on the front there. Okay, a whole face plate. And on the back, we've got some green lights as well. Okay. Um, this also has altitude hold. I'll just turn it off for a second. This also has altitude hold. Um, it can do the follow me function, uh, surround orbit function as well. They're claiming that this does have a flight distance range of 1500 meters or 1.5 Ks. And uh, they're also stating that the Wi-Fi range with no obstruction or interference will go as far as the flight range of 1.5 K. So that's pretty impressive if that is indeed true i will be testing that out guys now like i mentioned earlier this does come with two batteries so this is the 82 dollar model uh it's 71 or 72 dollars without uh the second battery now these batteries even though there's nothing printed on it the uh specifications online say these are 1600 milliamp hour 2s lipos all right in this modular casing uh, they do state 25 minutes of flight time, so that's another thing that I'm going to keep an eye on during the uh, the flight test. Uh, when they're dead flat, it's going to take about two hours to charge uh, using the just a normal USB to micro USB connector there. All right, guys, and you can see that's where you plug it in just there. Okay, we also have a phone mount just there. Okay, for your transmitter. Uh, we've got some spare props and screws with a screwdriver. I'm not going to take them out because I'll probably lose them everywhere. Have a user manual. Okay. And we also have the RX drone app leaflet. So you just uh, download that onto your phone and you can use the um, app here. Uh, it's in Chinese and English. This is the English side, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, um, this actual app has quite a few features that we can use with this drone. Let's have a quick look at the transmitter here, guys. Um, this does have a rechargeable battery, as you can see. You don't have to put any of your own AA batteries in here, so that's really nice. Now, the battery inside this transmitter is a one cell, and it's a 400 milliamp hour, so it should last a fairly long time. I'll just go grab the, uh, the little gimbal sticks. They would be in this bag here, and I'll put them on. All right, guys, I've gone ahead and put the little gimbal sticks on, and I also decided to put this on as well, the mobile phone mount. Now, you can actually fold these arms out to use them as handles for better grip, but you can also actually, they've slotted it here, so you can actually fit a phone underneath if you prefer it on the bottom. I actually like that idea. You've got two options there. You've got the one up the top, or you've got the bottom one as well. Now, it's a fairly simple, lightweight, budget uh, transmitter here. But it's got some nice smooth uh, gimbal sticks for a toy grade. We have our on and off switch here. Here is your home return button for your GPS home return. Now this does have two functions. Quick press is for the uh, gyroscope reset, uh, leveling it out on a surface to make sure the gyroscope is uh, set up. And a long press is to calibrate the compass. So before you fly this GPS drone, uh, you want to do both. You want to do a quick uh, gyro reset on a flat surface and then uh, cal calibrate the compass by it will tell you to usually it tells you to you know twist the drone around a couple of times one way and then another way uh, it should co confirm it with a couple of beeps as well while you're doing that uh, this has two functions as well one of it is a headless mode if you quick press it if you want to do a takeoff and landing you just long press it for a couple of seconds it'll be indicated by a beep and here's your gps on and off function so if you want to fly it around manually uh you know with altitude hold you can just turn the gps off and off you go you got no gps assistance all right guys so uh on the top here we have a speed switch there on the right hand shoulder we also have the two function camera options so quick press for taking snapshots of photos long press to start video recording and then we got our little scroll wheel to adjust the camera to up and down these antennas are fake guys they're just for show there is no wiring in them as you can see as you can see there's no wire coming out of them so they're just for show guys just to make it look like a more expensive drone same with that one there there's just a hole in there uh, the real antennas are usually uh, hot glued 
uh, horizontally laying flat inside the transmitters of these cheap budget GPS drones. All right, guys. So um, that's basically it. Um, it's got all the functions that you expect of most of these GPS drones these days. So I've got it all charged up, ready to go, guys. So let's uh, take it for a flight. Guys, I'm out here with the LSRC little mini drone here, the S6S. Okay. Now um, I'm going to do a screen recording here. Uh, I've actually got this Samsung tablet out, so it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to actually uh, walk around with this. So I'm going to just do my best with just leaving it here to do some of the features. Uh, the reason for that is I actually came out here yesterday, done a quick flight, and I had some problems with my Android phone. Uh, I did download or re-download this uh, RX drone app on my um iPhone I had problems with it as well so hopefully today we have some luck using this Samsung tablet now some of the settings here in this menu you can go through you can change some of the camera settings now on the video settings usually it's defaulted at 1080p you really want to have it at 720p okay and just get out of there and now we'll press play okay so we're pretty much ready to fly but first off what you want to do with this drone is have it on a level surface like that and you want to press this button quickly, just here near the uh, return to home button. That is your uh, gyro reset, so I'll press that. I don't know if you can see the lights, but they're flashing quickly. Okay, so that's done. And then what you want to do is calibrate the compass. So we're going to hold that same button down. And the lights are flashing slowly. Okay, so we want to turn it around. You hear a beep. And we heard a second beep, all right? And it actually tells you on the app there, you would have seen it, compass calibrated correctly. All right, guys, let's send it up for a flight and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to start recording. Okay, we've got the recording going. All right, and uh, let's take it up. So two sticks in and out and straight up. Okay, so we got 12 satellites at the moment. I'm going to just leave that uh, tablet just there. I'm not going to really look, be looking at it too much. Like I said, I'm not using a phone, but uh, I had problems with my phone yesterday. You just take it for a bit of a flight around. I will be looking down at the tablet now and again. So it is recording, it should be recording. What I'm going to do first is just take it out there, take it up and out. We're in rate one. Wi Fi FPV looks pretty good. Got a lot better connectivity today using the Samsung Galaxy tablet than what I was yesterday, that's for sure. Okay, let me just take my glasses off. So I can see. It's saying about 300 meters here, and it looks to be around 200 ish. Uh, these apps, or this particular RX drone app, is known to not be that great. Actually, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing here. It's saying 962. <laughs> okay, so that's definitely not a kilometer away. Uh, like I said, this RX drone app isn't the most reliable with its telemetry. So I can see the FPV is pretty good though. It's raising up and it's come back rather quickly. Okay, and we can adjust the, the camera. I'm going the wrong way there. You can adjust the camera down, just like that. Okay, so she's coming down slowly. I did take off just in front of the case there. So not too bad of a landing. It just holds its position there. It did that yesterday and then it, it finally uh, lands. So not too bad, you know. One, two, say about three feet or three yards. Okay, so let's end that, that recording. There was two minutes of recording there. 
Let's hold it down. Oh, that's stopped. All right, so let's take it up again. What I might do is use the uh, use the automatic takeoff button. See how that works. Oh, I've got to turn the return off. Oh, it's in headless mode. All right, maybe I have to hold it down. I think I have to hold it down. That's right. Should take off. Okay. So there's the automatic takeoff button. Want to land it? I have to hold it down again, and it'll land itself. All right. So that's that feature. Okay. So hold it down again. We'll take off. All right. Now this has two rates of speed as well on this side. This speed rate two. See what it's like on speed rate two. Should take some more recording actually. Let's fly it around. So it is flying quite nicely guys, pretty smooth little uh, drone. And this speed rate too, it's got some decent speed behind it. You can, of course, turn the GPS assistance off and fly in altitude hold mode. It'll probably be a bit faster again. In fact, let me let me do that right now. Okay, it's in GPS mode. Okay, now it's not. How about the same speed? Okay, and as you can see, it's just starting to sway around because the GPS isn't on. Okay, so GPS should be back on now. I don't know if it says it on the app, but let me just uh, make sure of that. I did get a confirmation beep. So let's see. Yeah, GPS is back on. That's good. All right. So take it up again. We'll go towards the college there. I'll take it up. Just get a bit of camera footage for you guys. Now it is in 720p. Okay. Got some crows out over there so I won't uh, go too close to them uh, it looks like the Wi-Fi PV has uh, dropped out a little bit okay bring it back a little bit maybe we can get regain that Wi-Fi there we go just tilt the camera down So you can incrementally do it just by quickly tapping it, just to get a bit of a, a downward facing view there. Okay. Saying 67% battery. That's fine, because I've got another battery fully charged. Now, while I'm up there, I'll take some photos. I'll turn that recording off. So it is good, you can get the uh, transmission from the drone to the... Uh, Trans transmitter here for taking photos take some quick snaps turn around bring the camera back up okay so it's telling you you've taken the photos on the app showing you downloading it's good Take a couple of photos here, guys. One there of the college. All right, let's bring it back. See if I can do some uh, of these options, such as uh, follow me and a couple of the other ones. Okay. I did try follow me yesterday. It seemed to work pretty decent. We'll see how it goes today. So for a little lightweight drone, it's actually hovering pretty solid. 
you see. And we've got the optical flow positioning sensor on the bottom. I'm going to try to do some uh, quick features here. Uh, we'll make it record while I'm doing this. Just do GPS follow. Okay, so there it goes. It's uh, didn't activate the first time. So it is following. Now I'm out of shot, but what I noticed with this drone, you can actually control the the yaw. Some drones, once you go into follow me mode, you can't actually control the yaw to keep yourself in, in frame. So if I go quickly this way, as you can see, I'm getting out of shot, but I can actually control the yaw like that. All right. And then control the yaw coming back to stay in frame. So that works. Let's uh, get out of that. I'll take it up. Okay, so I'll try the uh, orbit. There's quite a few functions here to go through. Let's try circle mode and see what it does. Okay, it brought up the map. Which I'm not too sure why it's brought up the map. If I hold it, no, no. Oh well, the circle mode doesn't work. So get out of that. Okay, bring that down. Got 52% battery. Been flying for a while. Okay, let's try waypoints. You're gonna click on multi point. I'm gonna take the drone up a bit for this one. Okay, and I'm just gonna out of control. <laughs> That's no good. <laughs> okay, let me try that again. This did work yesterday, even though I had problems with the app. So what we want to do, try it again. The Google map ain't working properly on this actual iPad. So like I said, this RX drone app is pretty flaky. It depends on what device you use. But yesterday I was having problems with the app, but I had the maps up, you know, they were working fine. So we'll try multi-point again. Uh, so it won't even let me select anything, so, fortunately, I'll give the away point a go. Nah, okay, so unfortunately that doesn't work. Okay, so, there are other options here, guys. You can calibrate your drone, you can switch the camera to the bottom one, okay. That is the optical flow camera probably in around about I don't know 480p get out of that and we can also use the uh, pan tilt zoom as well where is it can't quite see it here oh there it is on the bottom and you've got it on the side here the bottom left corner and you can actually control the the camera up and down from there all right okay guys well the rest is vr mode you got music gesture all that sort of stuff you can add music um into your videos and all all sorts of stuff rotate it panorama mode let's try that one let's try horizontal The drone automatically turns horizontally. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it's got a panoramic uh, mode on there. I didn't know that. So you can see it's turning around by itself. 
a bit like uh, one of the Tello FPV apps. I think had that. Okay, it says recording being saved. All right, so I heard a beep then. Level one low voltage warning. So we're in LVC mode. Okay, so let's get out of that. And I'm going to start recording again. And I'll put the iPad down. We'll just fly it around. Okay, I'm going to record again. Take it out for a bit of a distance run if we can. If it will allow me to. No, it won't. That's the geofence. Okay. Have the camera facing up. Ties it will go. Or is that down? No, that's down. So to the left is up. So it does fly nice. It's such a little lightweight drone. I'm pretty impressed with it. Like I said, the app is bit questionable though um, especially for the distance readings um, it's not that accurate I may do a, uh, a range test guys later on but it flies really good I'm just pushing it out and that's as far as it will let me go so how many meters is that well it's saying 170 meters <laughs> which is untrue see it's coming back by itself now the pretty good flight time they do claim 25 minutes i highly doubt that but uh We've been recording this uh, video for nearly 17 minutes on the uh, screen recording. And the battery's at 38%. So, all depending how long this uh, LVC is. Possibly it will get around 20 minutes actually, with a percentage. Okay, so I might just take a couple more photos, guys. Take it up a bit. Okay, is there anything else I can try and do? Headless mode, gesture. Not really interested in gesture mode. It's a pity the, um, there's your VR mode if you're wearing goggles. Oop, I got out of the app. See if I can do a different mode of follow me. Let's have a look. Follow. Oh, it went up by itself then, so I think it might be... Yeah, it's coming home, guys. Low voltage uh, warning number two. Yeah, so she's landing now. That's going to be our flight time. Of this little guy. You gonna land? Yep. Alright guys, so that's gonna be the flight time of the little LSRC drone. It does fly really nicely guys. It's a you know for a seventy dollar drone, you know, with one battery around eighty dollars for two. 
I mean, it only weighs 150 grams. It actually flies really nice. So, so can I recommend this little uh, LSRC S6S drone for the price that it is? Most definitely I can. Um, if you want to learn how to fly a drone without uh, spending too much out of pocket, definitely, uh, yeah, give this one a go. But um, the only thing is that I've noticed with this particular app is that the telemetry, don't count on the telemetry at all as far as, not the height, the height is pretty accurate, but the distance is just way out of proportion. Uh, there's a few different apps that have uh, done that in the past, not necessarily just this app, RX Drone, but there are a couple that have uh, given false results as well. Okay, so yeah, guys, not a bad little drone. You can get this one at Banggood. Um, I'll see if I can get a coupon code to bring the price down even further, less than $70 for the one battery option. Um, I highly recommend get the two battery option. Uh, we've got a pretty decent flight time out of it, as you can see. I'll definitely put the flight time up on the screen when it did land. Uh, the screen recording shows that we're at about 22 minutes now, I think. So, yeah, it did fly pretty close to the actual uh, the claim flight time. Not bad at all, guys. All right, so uh, yeah. I'll uh, extract all the uh, photos and videos from the the uh, tablet here, and then um, I'll put it in the video as well. All right, guys. So thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Uh, I might do a range test on this one soon, and see how far it can actually fly. Okay. I might have to put a little camera on the top though uh, to get an accurate reading on uh, Google Maps. So all right. So stay tuned for that one a bit later on. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this full review of the. LSRC, the Mini S6S, they're calling this one, as you can see on the arm there. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. If you happen to be new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you on the next video. Until next time, happy flying. Bye for now.